I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel and today in this video I would like to show you this very interesting eye color change effect in HitFilm Express. So to do this effect you will have to do two different things. First you will have to find a way to isolate the eyes themselves and then secondary to that you will then add an effect to make the eyes change color. So I'm going to start by isolating the eyes first. I'm going to take my raw footage and put it into a composite shot this way. And then I will duplicate that raw footage and I will call this eyes like this. Now there are several ways that you could do this. You could go in and mask that eye and then keyframe it so that it moves uh, with it and so on and so forth and basically hand animate it. Um, another way to do it would be to track the eyes and then use a mat to do that and that's actually what I'm going to do here. Uh, but regardless of that, as soon as you're done, then you'll be able to do the eyes themselves. And there is a table of contents below, so you can skip right to that if you don't want to see how I do this tracking thing. All right, so I'm going to open up uh, the eyes, and I'm going to click this little green icon to insert a tracker. And I'm just going to take my tracker and put it on the eye right here, right in the very middle. Then... I'm going to go ahead and make this a double point track so that I can put a second one on the other eye. This will take care of any rotation or any uh, parallax that might happen between these two. Okay, then when I'm ready, I can go ahead and just track these forward, which only took a few seconds. Then I'm going to go ahead and select rotation and scale, and I need to put that data into something, so I'm going to create a new point layer and then I will attach this to the new point and click apply. So now when I go back to the viewer tab and I select the new point you can see that that point is tracked directly onto there so that makes it super easy. Now what I'm going to do is grab a new layer, a plain layer, it doesn't matter what color it is and I will put it underneath uh, and I'm going to put a grade layer above that because that grade layer will flatten everything underneath it. We'll call this the mat, uh, and it will include all of the uh, changes that I make to the plane. The big changes, of course, will be the fact that I am going to, um, and let me back up here, I'm going to go ahead and mask out the eyeball or the iris itself. So I'm just going to very carefully sort of mask this. And then I will go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now that I have masked out both of those, I can go ahead and attach that plane to the new point so that it will move. And if I want to double check it, I can always move it above here and see how those move with the eyes. So now that I have done that, I will add an effect called Set Mat and I will source the grade layer above it so that way uh, even if I turn off the lower footage you can see that I have just the irises highlighted there. Um, now if I want I can add a little bit of a feather and the way I would do that is by using a matte cleaner and just maybe a couple three pixels uh, just to just to kind of blend it in. So that is one way that you can isolate the irises of the eyes into their own layer. Like I said, there's a lot of different ways to do that. And now we're going to go ahead and add the coloring effect. And the effect that we're going to use is the hue color eyes effect. Eyes, get it? Haha. -ha. Hue colorize effect, and I'm going to drop that on the eyes layer themselves. And you can see right away that it actually is taking, uh, making an effect. Uh, and then I have presets. So if I want to set this to blue, I can set that to blue. Now that's a little bit strong. Uh, so you can adjust things like the hue strength. Okay. You can adjust the saturation. You can adjust the lightness. And you can also adjust the opacity, which will basically blend it with my or with the normal eye color there. Okay. And so basically you would just sort of 
come to an idea of where or how much maybe of that you want that in there okay and you can layer in more than one hue colorize effects let's do another one let's go scion yeah, and that actually looks pretty good right doesn't look too terrible in fact something like that you just sort of play with these now let's go with green oh see green looks pretty good too i might yeah, dial it down slightly. I could go with magenta. Yeah, that would be very interesting. And just a little bit of a purple tint to it. Uh, orange. Uh-huh. Uh, about like there, maybe. Or even red. Kind of the Sith color eyes, right? Um, and again, you can you can play with the, these numbers, these, these sliders, until you get something that you look. And last, let's go with yellow. Maybe knock that down. So that is how you do a eye color change effect in HitFilm Express. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the little bell icon for notifications, and as always, thanks for watching.